asked this question. Uh, in the final scene of the movie, Napoleon Dynamite, Napoleon and Deb are playing the game, uh, playing the game Tetra Ball, in which uh, a ball uh, on a rope moves in a circular motion around a vertical plane vertical pole as shown by the dotted path in the figure. The ball has a mass of 0.25 kilograms is attached to the rope of negligible mass, which is 1.5 meter long and the angle which it makes is 30 degree as seen over here. So the image of the ball below sketch a clearly labeled free body diagram of the forces on the ball during the time it is in motion around the pole. All right. I think the first uh, force it will be the tension. So tension will be over here. And the second force will be the weight force, which is mg. Uh, its mass is 0 0.25, so it will be 0 0.25 g, which is uh, towards the downside. All right. Uh, <clears throat> of course, we have to make the components of the force because uh, the net force which is providing the centripetal acceleration should be towards the center. So if we make the components, uh, if this is 30, then this is also 30 because they are alternate angles. So this is this will be T cosine of 30 degree. And this will be T sine of 30 degree if we make the components. Uh, so uh, name the specific force which is responsible for holding the ball, holding the ball to the circular motion. So a specific force um, will be the centripetal force, right? Centripetal force, which is provided by <clears throat> T sine 30 degree in this case. What is the value of R? R is, of course, the radius, and the radius is uh, we have to find. So that's where a <clears throat> little bit of uh, trigonometry comes in. I'm going to do that over here. So the length of the string is already given as 1.5, right, which means that this is 1.5, and this is already given as 30 degrees, and R is what? This. So clearly, I can use sine, right, because sine of 30 degree will be opposite, which is R, over hypotenuse, which is 1.5. Uh, so if we cross multiply, then 1.5 sine of 30 degree will be equal to R. If we flip the equation, uh, R will be equal to 1.5 sine of 30 degree. And we know that sine 30 is 1 over 2. So this will become 1.5 over 2. So 1.5 over 2 is nothing but 0 0.75. That is the value of R. So uh, over here, we say that R is 0 0.75 meters. Then calculate the magnitude of the tension of the rope and the speed of the ball. So uh, we write the equation of the motion. Uh, the vertical forces should be equal. So T cos 30 is equal to mg. And the horizontal force should correspond to, it's, it's a good idea if we write the horizontal force first. <clears throat> T sine 30 will be equal to mv square over R. All right. So obviously we know the mass. We know um, the g as well. Mass is uh, 0 0.25. So from equation number two, we can easily get the value of t. So this means that t cos 30 will be the mass, which is 45, uh, which is 0 0.25 kilogram, 0 0.25, and g is 9.8. So the value of t comes out as 0 0.25 times 9.8 over cos of 30 degree. So this comes out as 0.25 times 9.8 over cos of 30 degree, which is 2.83 Newton. This is the value of tension. Now we need to find the value of velocity. So that's where the equation one comes in. So if you use equation one, that's gonna be T sine 30 degree is mv square over r. What is t? We already found that. It is 2.83. What is sine 30? That's 1 over 2. <clears throat> what is mass? That is 0 0.25 kilograms. <clears throat> Velocity is unknown, so that's v square. And the radius is 0 0.75 we just found. So we write 0 0.75 over here. <clears throat> so let's cross multiply. I think that's going to be... <clears throat> 2.83 over 2, which is 1.415. And this will be equal to 0.25 over 0.75 is 1 over 3v square. Multiplying both sides by 3, we get 
two, four, five as the value of V square. And if we take square root both the sides, then the value of V comes out as 2.06. 2.06 is the value of V. So if you flip the equation, then V is 2.06 meter per second. And finally, uh, the value of F, what is the time period? So time period is nothing but 2 pi over omega. 2 pi over omega. And omega, if you relate from the uh, linear velocity, omega is nothing but, because we know that V is omega R, so we can definitely write that omega is V over R, right? So uh, this is a multi-level fraction, so R comes on top. Uh, another way to remember to understand this is this can be written as 2 pi divided by V over R. And we know that division can be turned to multiplication and V over R is to be swapped. All right, so this will become 2 pi. Uh, the value of R is nothing but uh, the radius, which is uh, 0.75 meters. So we write 0.75. And the value of the velocity is nothing but 2.06. So this value comes out as 0.75 times 2 pi over 2.06, which is coming as 2.29 seconds. That is the time period. Thank you.